shoot, man. Daryl mean the world. I mean, hmm. You know, there's, this is what I love about sports so much. This is what I love about football, because everybody on that football field make a sacrifice for somebody, if not everybody. And we all have the same goals in mind, and that is to win games. And, and win it pretty much at all costs. When you learn how to train together and prepare together, you understand that the man to your right and the man to your left have, have gone through the fire with you. And Daryl Johnson sacrificed so much by leaning his head in there to take on big guys like Eric Hill, big linebackers like Tracy Simeon of Kansas City, and big guys bigger than him. Here, he's a smaller guy, I'm a smaller guy, and we both out there battling and fighting and tackling, taking on giants. Yeah. Yeah. You're both undersized <laughs> We guys. both, both undersized. Guys you are. Yeah. And, and so I understand what he, what he sacrificed for me. And that in itself is, I have no words for it, put it that way. I, I loved it when they had a guy over my center mm -hmm. because then I was able to dictate what was going to happen because I understood the blocking schemes. Um, and I was able to try and and make that nose guy fight or that backside linebacker fight over the top to try to get on the right side of the mm -hmm. offense. And then I was able to slide left mm -hmm. and go where we needed to go. And understanding your systems and your blocking schemes was extremely key in every offense. And, and I think that is what Darrell and I did better than most running back combinations, is that we understood our system very well, and sometimes I'm, I'm somewhat of a risk taker in, in the sense of sometimes I'll try something just to try it, just to get, put another thought in someone's mind, just to see if it works. And, and if it works, then it opens up other opportunities. Like we may press the, the lead draw down the middle and it's designed to go right up the, right up the gut to some degree. And I'm, it's, it's either going to fall in the, the two hole, the four hole, or it's going to go back to the three within the five. It's going to stay within that, 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 that range. Well, pressing it sometime, forwards, it make the backside linebacker sometimes flow over the top. And all I needed was the backside linebacker to continue to flow over the top and allow Two and A and 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 the backside uh, guard to keep pushing them over the top, and all I'm going to do is just slide right behind them and go right up the middle anyway. So reading defenses was one thing, seeing the secondary was another. Understanding when I see the defense front seven, I'm looking for the guy that I'm going to beat once I get past it. I'm trying to figure out where's he, where's that pressure coming from, and once I recognize that. In my mind, I'm already playing to that level. So when I get there, I know where he's coming from. I know what angle he's coming from. And I probably pretty much can sense the speed that he's going to get there. And then I'm going to try to make a miss 